What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the VSO Gun Channel. Thank you for joining us here today. And guys, before we get started today, I'm just going to say I have heard you. I have listened to the emails, the comments, the DMs, all of it. I'm currently wearing the Safe Life Frass Flexible Rifle Armor System. We are going to be doing a full eval on it. I promise I'm working on it. As you can see, I'm working on it right now. These plates come in a little bit stiff from production but they do loosen up, I'm told, over time. So basically right now I'm getting a feel for it, seeing how long it takes for those things to loosen up before we go out and try to pop some holes in it. But if you guys don't wanna wait for that video and you just wanna buy it now, there will be a discount code in the description box down below, as well as on the VSO Affiliates page if you don't wanna wait for Curtis's ramblings. But that's not actually what we're here to talk about here today. What we're talking about is another Safe Life product, and that is this guy right here. This is their tactical belt, and it is a minimalist tactical belt. And what's neat about it is it uses an internal belt that is in, in your pants. And how this thing works, basically, is it hook and loops Velcro to the inner belt. And what that does is that it creates a very low profile, so you don't have a whole lot of bulk sticking out like some other battle belt systems. Which I will say that the internal belt itself is also fairly rigid, and because of that, I would have no problem wearing this as a standard carry belt for like an inside the waistband carry. So you go to leave the range, you take your tactical belt off, and then you take your inside the waistband holster, stuff it right back down inside your pants, and you're ready to rock and roll. But when we are doing cool guy stuff, all we do is loop it around the back, made it up to the internal belt, snap the cobra buckle, and we are ready to rock and roll stays on pretty easily it's not going to move around a whole lot and there's a lot of real estate for that velcro to get on so even if you don't get it perfectly like i missed it a little bit over on this side it's not really that big of a deal now construction -wise. we look at it we mentioned that the internal belt is a, a piece of nylon this is a doubled up piece of nylon and on it we have stitched these male attachments i'm going to call them low profile male attachments they're rather thin but they basically constrict down to hold whatever is being attached in place. It will also be wide enough for your standard loop hook systems for like your regular duty gear, or if you want to use uh, molly attachments like I have here, for instance. These are my favorite pouches, the Wilder Tactical pouches, also uh, discount code on the VSO affiliates page for those things as well to attach it rather easy all I did I'm sure that there's many methods to do this is just turn it like this and you can see that those loops kind of loosen up a little bit You're able to stuff the things down inside there and weave it now as far as the belt buckle is concerned We have a full Cobra buckle on here if you guys are unfamiliar with the Cobra belt buckle it basically snaps in and locks you cannot get this apart. This is the same thing that people use to climb mountains with. This is as secure as it gets. So to free it, you cannot, for instance, pull on it like this and pull these things. It will not unlock. So even if you actuate the unlocks while that thing is grabbed up, so to speak, it won't come apart. For anybody who isn't familiar with the Cobra belt, I'm putting as much force on it as I can. You can see I'm shaking a little bit. But even if I let go, it won't come apart. You have to reset, take the tension off the belt, and then you can get it apart. Sizing on this beast. It is adjustable on one side, the male side. As you can see over here, the female side is hard stitched in, so that's not adjustable over there, but they do give you several inches in a belt keeper there to be able to adjust it uh, for your girth. Now, that said, it comes in all the sizes, small, medium, large, extra large, I think it goes up to 3X, and I expected to, just because of the types of clothing that I buy, to have to wear the extra large. But actually, uh, the extra large was too big, the adjustment range wasn't small enough, so I had to go down to the large belt and I only had to add a few inches, you can see there from the uh, adjustment, well, about half the adjustment, a little less than half the adjustment to get me into this belt. Now, as far as the stitching is concerned, it is fairly robustly stitched. I'm gonna say that, I'm gonna call it double stitched in some places and I'm not sure what I'm gonna call that, like four or five stitches and at the very ends. But uh, for the most part, it does look to be at least double, some places triple stitched on uh, the belt. So it does look pretty good. Now all that remains is to test to see how well this thing does with the magazine extraction stuff 
And the other thing that I wanted to point out, as you can see, because of the minimalist nature of this thing, all the pouches mount really low. So that when I go ahead and throw this thing on, we can see that it has minimal interaction with the armor. So if you are somebody who has to wear armor on a regular basis, there's gonna be a minimal amount of interaction there. Um, there still is a little bit of contact, but it is low enough that it's not going to be like overriding your equipment. And A lot of gas today it's a warmer day outside so we got a fair amount of expansion going on and uh, so I had no problem with it riding up I was concerned that the pouches were going to ride a little bit uh, because I did use full-size Molly pouches but that didn't really seem to be much of a problem with this thing uh, it seemed to work just fine of course time will tell and along those same lines what I will say is that it would be relatively impossible for me to give you guys a full eval on this product or a product in this class in a single video. Like it's just pretty hard to do. I mean, I would have to do all the work up front and then everybody who asked anything about it, I'd have nothing to show them. And what I've noticed is that you guys are really good at when somebody asks, hey, what belt are you wearing? I almost never even get to respond to those comments because you guys picked the slack for me and have already dropped the link into this into the comment section right after that person. So we're going to use this as a reference video for the Safe Life tactical belt. And then I'll probably report back in a couple months of using it, see how it's doing. I'm going to load it down, see uh, if we can stress it a little bit, maybe run through some running guns after it gets a little less muddy down there. But... Uh, what we'll do is probably mid-summer, I would say, probably come back and do a recap on how this product is doing. And again, guys, remember that here pretty soon we're going to be doing a dedicated video on the Safe Light Frass. So be sure to be looking out for that. Thanks again for joining us here on the VSO Gun Channel, and hopefully we'll see you guys on a future video.